the power forward position. At 6.9 inches, number 33, Chase. At six foot nine inches, number fourteen, Will Stevens. At shooting guard, six feet seven inches, number twenty, Chris. Sweet Kia Slam Cam Replay. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Hey guys, I'm game. Look at the numbers for Burke. He's already got nine points, and he has been the definition of a thief with all those steals. And Clark, defensively, he has one free throw coming his way. With that basket, that's now eight of the last ten points they've surrendered coming on fast breaks. And they just look asleep out there in terms of transition, not showing nearly enough urgency in getting back. For Boston, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. Now, when you think of the great playmakers in league history, John Stockton per game averaged double digit dimes. Think of this for his career 15,806 career assists, a record you knew right off would stand for a very long time. And guys, you know, you look up point guard in the dictionary, and there's a nice little picture of John Stockton there. I mean, he is an unreal distributor, controlled the game like no one ever has before or since. It's no coincidence that Utah never missed the playoffs in any of the 19 seasons that John Stockton was at the helm. All right now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on that one. the second from the line. Another opportunity to create. The Nets have split their free throws right down the middle so far. They're two for two. He misses the free throw.
And he's good on the second. And he knocks down the first one. Sloan hits him both. And he's on his way to the free throw line. No clue how he got that one to fall. And that was not a soft foul he had to get through, Greg. I mean, he had to really power that one up and in. For Brooklyn, they have gone five of eight from the charity stripe here tonight. Free throw good by Curry. Way to the line for one more. Oh, nice Top double good. pump finish there. Strictly for the fans. The Nets have made two-thirds of their free throws tonight. Six of nine to be exact. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give them any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. The Celtics shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. That free throw, no good. And Brooklyn making a change here. No good at the stripe this time. Second miss is also. First one falls for him. Hitting your free throws is a good way to get back into it. It stops the clock and extends the game. I mean, you want to take advantage of that situation. And they're shooting much better from the line here in the second quarter. So far, they haven't missed one. And so he hits both. It's not a significant number or, or a huge amount, but it's improvement nonetheless. First free throw is good. And both free throws is good for Roger. Nice shot there without a second to spare. You know, as a defending team in that situation, it really irks you to give up a shot like that to close out the quarter. You know, oftentimes those end of quarter points can be the difference in a ball game. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. It's the Celtics running away with it. They'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We welcome you to the Halftime Show on 2K Sports. Things were going Boston's way from the beginning. They opened up the game knocking down shots and defending extremely well, going on a blazing 15-2 run. They came on extremely strong as the quarter was winding down, nailing all six of their last field goal attempts to close out the first. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play helped them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? The thing I've noticed more than anything is how well they spread the floor at the offensive end. Their spacing has been fantastic and the end result has been a lot of good looks from three-point land and now they've established themselves from long range and the defense has to adapt they're in really solid position right now and over to the big fella your thoughts on the nets they were brick city and it was painful to watch weak shooting starts to get contagious and they were struggling all over the place they got to work on getting more high quality chances more layups fewer prayers that wraps it up for halftime as the game is just about to get going again in the third quarter. We will see you later.